So I was just scrolling through the Windows Server Insider blogs as I usually do because I own a server and I put Insider on it. So I'm scrolling through like, oh yeah, they got some good little stuff here like this here is pretty good, decent stuff. But I'm scrolling and what? See this. What? And they're actually making a, a different background for the server. They're acting like this isn't going to be on, uh, you know, consumer Windows 11. And I'm just going through, I'm like, wait, no, no, seriously, now I have to see this. That thing looks beautiful, but this image is so tiny. I got to get a better image for myself. So I was like, okay, um, why don't I just go ahead and just open up my server and get it to, uh, you know, download the update. So I connect to my server and I go into the settings and whatever. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, this this is this computer that the server is on is not meant <laughs> to have server on it whatsoever. So it's very slow, but I go in here and I'm like, okay, so it has an update, but it's just stuck at downloading. I'm like, oh crap, uh, what's happening here? I restarted it and nothing happened. Then I go back and I look and it says, oh, you got some issue, uh, this issue here where it doesn't download, just download the ISO and that should be fine. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. Um, I did that and whenever I actually get it to mount, which it rarely does because this computer's garbage, um, I also have a, a, a physical USB drive I also tried this with and whatever, but I'll try to upgrade it um, and the installer crashes. So I'm like, okay, maybe this computer is just too old for Windows Server. I'm not sure, or I could just wait, but yeah, so that's the issues I've been having with it. I haven't actually gotten to see it myself, so this is basically a first impression uh, thing. So let's go ahead and open up VMware and get this installed. All right, done. Power on. So um, while I wait, I do want to apologize for the delay in uploads. Um, I have been moving, I'm moving out of my house due to financial issues, and I'm basically back in with my parents. So. With my gaming channel, I will be trying to post on it more as well. Um, the content you guys are going to see on this channel is going to be a little bit different slightly because I don't have much space to really film screens now. Uh, I'm still going to try, obviously, but it's just going to be a little cramped than what we're used to saying. Anyways, let's continue on here. So next, next, install Windows Server. I agree, everything will be deleted. All right, let's put it full screen. So this is a little, this is a different setup too. They brought the new setup uh, into Windows Server as well. Product key, let's go ahead and grab that. Don't worry, they give you a key for free since it's Insider, it's not like they don't, you know, it makes sense. There you go, yep, it should work. Desktop experience, and it's gonna take a little while to install. Oh, of course, you gotta accept this stuff, of course. Pretty nice. I actually like that they included this new, new little thing here. Yep, everything looks good. Install. There we go. It's gonna take a little bit, and I will get back to you guys when it is finished. All right. And it's gonna ask me for a password. This is only a temporary thing I'm doing. I probably won't keep this. Maybe I'll make another video on it eventually if they introduce something really cool. But I'll just make it the same password as my uh, server. What's gonna happen though? Oh, well, well, here we go. So far, the uh, lock screen is the same. But let's see this background image and then I'll uh, make sure to get it in more of a full screen. Oh, of course. Well, if this is a virtual machine, it's not really gonna do much. Oh, well, there you go. Oh my God, I barely saw it. Okay. Oh, it froze. Dang, it froze, froze. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to install VMware tools before I look at it. As you can hear, it's in white theme. <laughs> All right, we are now in full screen. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. Yo, hold up, get out of here. Wow, look at that background. Why is it blurry? There's, I can see pixels. I shouldn't be able to see the pixels. Still, that's a very neat um, picture going on here. They made, they made it kind of look, it, it's got like a, it does have a server vibe to it. Like this is meant to be kind of, you know, running your Windows systems or whatever you want, you know, based on the server. They don't have animations enabled or anything like that, but it is possible to do that. Oh, wait, they got dark theme too. What's the dark one look like? Oh, wow. 
That's pretty cool. Does it look better? It looks like it looks better than the white one. Hold up. Let's shrink this a little bit. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so what it looks like is they um, they traced it and just p and copied this section out and pasted it in a dark platform. Because, I mean, you can see this kind of changes a slight bit, but not much. It just looks way, it looks more blurry to me for some reason on the white one versus the dark one. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to check out my previous video where I showed off the new setup process, as you guys could actually saw in this video here. Um, and yeah, without, and, and yeah, without further ado, uh, that is the end of the video. Um, goodbye, guys. Thank you.